Finish, sir. You can wrap. Thank you. अच्छा ओके सो वी गोट टू दी लास्ट टॉपिक ऑफ दिस चैप्टर दैट इज प्रूफ दैट द इम्पल्स ऑफ फोर्स इज इक्वल टू द चेंज ऑफ मोमेंटम ओके नाउ इम्पल्स ऑफ फोर्स वी नो दैट दैट इज फोर्स इनटू टाइम एंड चेंज ऑफ मोमेंटम इज फाइनल मोमेंटम माइनस इनिशियल मोमेंटम ओके एम जी माइनस एम यू वी नीड टू प्रूफ दैट ओके हाउ कैन वी प्रूव दिस वन we know from newton's second law of motion a is equal to ma right we already proved this one in the previous classes so acceleration is final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time we already know this one so we will replace this one okay uh, so if i cross multiply this t on the right hand side it's divided now if i change the sign it will be multiplied with the force right and it will be equal to see if i take off the bracket then m will be multiplied with mb and m will be multiplied with u so it will become mu now if you see a into c this is the impulse of force and this is the change of momentum okay final momentum minus the initial momentum will give you the change of momentum very easy derivation if there is any doubt uh, you can ask me 
Okay, I can see nobody's raising hand. This was a very easy topic, right? So with this one, we are going to end the chapter course and right now we are going to start the chapter work power energy. Okay. Sir, wait, wait, sir. wait, wait, wait. We have write. writing. Okay, right, 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 right. When you finish writing, kindly give me a note, okay? Till now, 16, 15 participants. So, where are the rest? Nine more, right? I think finished. Yes, finished, finished. Hmm. Okay. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is the beginning of the new chapter, chapter four. Okay, work, power, energy. I'm very certain that all these three words seems very similar, uh, sorry, familiar to you. Okay, you already know about this, but we are going to redefine them according to physics. Okay, now if I start discussing about work, okay, now uh, in our uh, general, you know, daily life, we say various things as work. Okay, let us say uh, you are sleeping. Okay, you are doing some work. Okay, and in general sense, it is doing a work. You are sitting somewhere all day long. Somebody will say that you are doing some work. For example, you can take the you know security of a building. Let us say he is sitting at the gate for the whole day. So he will say that I have done a lot of work the whole day. Okay, but according to physics, we do not say uh, we cannot say that he did some work. Okay, to uh, do some work. There must be a force applied and there must be some displacement due to that force applied. Okay, I'm going to write the definition and then I'm going to explain it further. So, kindly start writing as I start writing. Okay. So that is joule unit. What is that? This one? Yeah, yeah. Joule, joule. J O U L E, joule. Okay, okay, sir.
sir yes m l l is upore ki minus 2 naki shudhu 2 m l square t inverse 2 minus 2 okay m l to the power 2 t to the power minus 2 okay. we will see how this dimension is developed okay we don't have to actually memorize this one if you understand then it will be very easy for us to you know develop this one in case you you know sometimes if the students memorize and then they forget in the exam hall so i will teach you even if you forget the dimension then how can you find it out uh, in case of mcq okay okay so kindly drop the pen and listen to me okay so work it is the product of the force applied so definitely there has to be some force applied without applying some force there won't be any work okay so some force has to be there and due to that force some displacement should have occurred okay now uh, uh, then you can say that you have done some work now uh, if i push a box and the box is displaced by some amount okay then only we can say that the work has been done now let me give another example like if i keep pushing the wall okay if i keep pushing the board it is attached to the wall right so if, even though i keep pushing it for the whole day there won't be any displacement right there is some force applied i'm applying some force but there is no displacement so i cannot say that i have done any work okay according to physics do you understand this one i cannot say that i have done any work so Uh, the symbol with which i express work is w okay and the unit is joule this is the name of a scientist actually physicist okay prescott joule james prescott joule so according to him the unit was named joule j u l e and uh, this is you know expressed in short as j on it capital j and the dimension is ml square t inverse 2 as i said i will explain this one okay now the explanation if we apply a force f on a body and the body is displaced by s amount then the work done will be w equal to f into s see the product of force and displacement is what now if i do not apply any force what will happen the value of f will be zero so zero into s will be zero so work done will be zero now let us say i apply some force but the displacement is zero so f into zero will give me a work of zero right so i cannot demand that i have or i cannot claim that i i did some work okay so there must be some force applied and there must be some displacement as a result of the force applied clear this one then according to physics you can say that you have done some work so in this part if you have any doubt you can let me know i can explain okay uh, you can add another thing that is uh, the unit is sometimes called newton meter also okay newton meter in mcq i have seen this okay uh, they do not give joule when are, whenever they are asking the unit of work people the students look for joule but sometimes you know they do this thing they do not give joule they give newton meter newton meter is also a unit of work how you can understand if you see the force the unit of force is newton and the unit of displacement it is a length right up and by how meter <coughs> it has been displaced so it is meter so newton into meter this is also a unit of work acha fatema to zara i will listen to you inshallah yes fatema what is your doubt sir tale zara paper work kore ora to ek jaygay boshei korte hobe na like hmm hmm so odder ta to work hi holo na কাদের কথা বলতেছ বুঝি নাই আবার বলো লাইক যারা পেপার ওয়ার্ক করে লাইক পেপার ওয়ার্ক করে রাইট তারা এক জায়গায় বসে করতেছে তবে এখানে কথা আছে ওকে যেমন মনে করো পেপার ওয়ার্ক যারা করে হি ইজ হোল্ডিং আ পেন হি ইজ अप्लाइंग সাম ফোর্স অন দা প্লেন এন্ড দা অন দা পেন এন্ড দা পেন ইজ মুভিং রাইট সো ইউ ক্যান সি ইন দ্যাট সেন্স দ্যাট দে আর ডুইং সাম ওয়ার্ক ওকে देयर हैज टू बी সাম ফোর্স अप्लाइड देयर हैज टू बी সাম ডিসপ্লেসমেন্ট now as i gave the example in the beginning of this topic that a security guard is sitting in a one is sitting in one place and guarding the gate for whole day not moving from his chair so he cannot demand that he did some work according to physics okay but according to you know our daily life general sense he will say that okay i did my work whole day that is his work right sitting and guarding the gate okay so according to our general sense he can say that he did some work but according to physics we 
will say that no, you did not do any work. Okay. 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 Acha. So uh, we will move on. Is this clear that the uh, uh, unit can be taken as Newton meter also? Because F is Newton, S is meter. So now I will. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. So I will show you how this dimension is generated. Okay. And I hope your writing is also finished. Anybody not finished yet? Fatima, you raised your hand again. Yes. Finish, sir. Finish. Fatima, you want to say something? No, no, no. So, oh, how to lower it? Forgot to lower it. Okay. Lower it and mute yourself. Finish writing, I guess. Okay. So, I can erase. The topic the question that i'm going to teach you now you know is how to develop the dimension of work okay the dimension of work sometimes it might come in b for two months okay so dimension of work let us see how it is developed dimension of work now work is equal to we know that uh, it is force into displacement, right? That is F into S. Now, force is equal to, we know that mass into acceleration, right? Now, acceleration, again, it is V minus U divided by T into S, okay? And uh, can I write this one like this? Mass into velocity minus velocity will give me a velocity only, right? Now some people have confusion in this one. See, if I, uh, you know, I have five meter per second, I subtract two meter per second from this one, what I will get? I will get three meter per second. Okay, this is also a velocity. So velocity minus velocity will give me another velocity. So here velocity minus velocity, I can write another velocity, right? just velocity and this will be time and this will be s is displacement so it is some length right i can write it as length we are going to the fundamental quantities mass time length we have but velocity it is not a fundamental quantity okay we will uh, break it down now velocity can be further divided into you know displacement displacement divided by Time. Velocity can be divided as displacement by time, divided by time into length. Okay. So then what will happen? See, this is, uh, okay, I will directly write it here. Mass, the dimension of mass is m into displacement is L divided by time is there, capital T, again time is there, capital T into length L is there. So from here, what we get is C M into L into L. So it will be M L square. T is divided, right? So from here, it will come T inverse 2. Okay? You will multiply all the uh, numerator and we will multiply the denominators. Okay? There uh, one more uh, line can be written. If you didn't understand this one, okay, let me show you uh, how... Uh, this is exactly coming. C M into this L by T. I will write it here. Now this division I am writing as multiplication. Though. So T by one will become one by T, right? See this divided by T. If I write it as multiplication, it will be inverted. So one by T into L. Now it is also here M into L into one into L. So it is M. L square and then T into T here in the denominator, so it will be minus 2 inverse 2. So ML square T inverse 2. Okay. If there is any doubt, can you raise your hand quickly? We're trying to move fast a little uh, a little fast. Because we have only I think uh, nine minutes left. It is nine two already, so eight minutes. I can I, I see nobody raising their hand, so okay, I will move on.
So this is the way you can develop. Ah, uh, don't rub, don't. You want. Arman? Don't rub. But don't. Uh, uh, I think you can develop it on your on your own, right? Yourself, you can develop it. No problem. And if you couldn't write and if you couldn't develop at home, let me know through WhatsApp. I will uh, write it in a paper, take a picture and send you. No problem. Keep some space for this one, okay? If you couldn't write it, then keep some space for this one. We are trying to move a little bit Okay, I did, I did. Now, another question that can be asked for two marks, okay? In B, that I will show uh, you now. Okay, the question can, uh, you know, come in any of the two statements. Yes. Any problem? Yes, sir. Sir, are both the questions same? Yes. You know, both of them will be having the same answer. The statement might be sometimes, you know, this one, the statements are the question. You know, different type of, you know, asking a style. Okay? Both of them have sir, the same answer. Sir, I know, but the meanings are different, right? In the both questions. No, actually, you, you see, significance uh, is the, uh, you know, significance is what does it mean? Significance of 50 joule, actually, uh, it means that what does 50 joule of work mean? So it is the same thing, what do you understand by 50 joule of work? Anything you are asked about 50 joule of work, you can write this answer only. Okay, like significance or what do you understand, what do you think, express your opinion, <coughs> all uh, will have the same answer. Sir, it will be 50J, right? Instead of 50N. No. no, force. We are talking about force. 50 Newton. You will see. Okay, uh, kindly remember, uh, uh, you know, remind me at the beginning of every class to, you know, press the record button because I forget many times. Some two people have sent me message. Amina Zulthi ke pore likhmo, huh? the rule, you are not writing. Acha, okay, no problem. So. Let us try to understand this one, okay? Drop your pen and listen to me. See, what we understand by 50 joule of work, whenever somebody tells you that he has done 50 joule of work, what does it mean actually? This means that the force that he applied, okay? And the displacement that occurred, the multiplication of those two, the product of those two will be equal to 50. Do you understand this one, okay? We can assume that he applied 20, uh, 50 um, Newton of force and the displacement that offered is 1 meter. So if I take the multiplication of this to 50 into 1 will give me 50, right? And Newton into meter is Joule, okay? 
we know one uh, joule is equal to one newton meter right remember one joule is equal to one newton meter both of them are unit of power so i can write this okay so 50 newton force applied and 1 meter displacement if i take the multiplication i will get 50 joule of power okay now uh, we can put it in different way okay let us say uh, he, uh, he did not apply me 50 newton force he applied you know 25 newton force so the displacement now has to be 2 meter 2 meter very good kida atena to zora very good excellent okay the multiplication has to be equal to 50 okay now i want to know from arafat okay nobody else will answer arafat you will tell me the answer let us say i applied 10 newton of force then what will be the displacement to get 50 joule of power 5 5 5 oh excellent okay every one of you excellent okay so Clear, right? I hope this is clear. The multiplication has to be equal to 50. So you can write it uh, now any of the way you want. Okay? I think this is clear. No more doubts. Okay. So finish writing. I will give you one minute. And I don't think today we can discuss any further topic because it is 9 8 already. We are going to finish this one. If you start a new topic, we are not going to be able to finish that topic. So better we start another topic in the next class. Kindly go through whatever we learned today. Okay, and if you have any doubt, ask me in WhatsApp. I will try to clear as much as possible. If it is not possible to clear in WhatsApp, I will discuss uh, your doubt in the next class, at the beginning of the next class, inshallah. So kindly finish writing. I'm going to end the meeting. Anybody still write, writing? Raise your hand. I can see nobody is raising hand, so I'm going to end the meeting. Finish, finish. It was nice having the session with you. Assalamu alaikum. See you in the next. See you in the next. Assalamu alaikum, sir.